Hey, welcome everybody. This is Dave from Idle Hands, and uh, we are uh, just on our way to go fishing. And uh, let's see. I guess, I guess that's what we have to do. Let's see. Uh, drop, examine. Oh, put away. Let's see if we can put that away. Let me just check the map. Uh, I always do that. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going down to Jonesy Lake, and then we're supposed to... Uh, search the lakeside for bear tracks, right? So, yeah, I guess that's everything's happening down at the lake. So let's uh, let's go do that. So uh, buckle up, it's game time. Now I hope I can get my fishing pole out. No, that's not what I wanted. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. I'm not sure how I get my fishing pole out <laughs> again. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out. Is that anything? No. Nope. Am I going the right way? I don't. I don't recognize any of this. But how did I get here? How did I get here? Wow, that's really weird. Okay. Wapiti uh, Station. Gee, I found a clipboard down here, and I uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. I didn't even hear any strange noise. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. All right, so who in the crap Are you there? is keeping tabs of our conversations? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. 
It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Okay. So where the heck is Wapiti Meadow? Okay, there... It is. <laughs> so where do we have to go? Um, so I guess we have to kind of go up and then over a little bit, maybe follow the river and then cut over. I don't think I can get to Cache 305 by just walking the river or by walking the, uh, the shoreline. All right. Let's cross here. This is the river we'd have to follow, I believe. We should be able to cut over, I think, right here. And we should be able to take this trail uh, all the way to where we need to be. Just check. Ah, okay. Hmm. Guess we need to go down. Well, if uh, if we have to come back up, we should be able to just climb up. <laughs> since the rope should stay there. Man, it's so creepy. <laughs> to find out that somebody's like basically recording all your conversations and stuff. Ooh. Who knows what else they're doing? They're like taking videos and watching you in your sleep and blah. I don't know. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wait, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, See what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hmm. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Shove. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. 
I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Hmm. Alright, let's see where the heck we've got to go then. That. Look for the control burn south of Ruby River. Where the heck is Ruby River at? Campfire smoke. Oh, there's River River. South of Ruby River. Wow, we've got to go all the way over there. <laughs> How are we going to get over there? Okay. Um, where are we at? Holy crap. This is going to take a while, guys. <laughs> all right. Um, well, I mean, we have to turn around. Can't go any further this way. So we can't go. Okay, we're gonna force us to go back the way we came. This would be pretty tough. Yep. <sighs> Definitely have to eat your Wheaties before uh, attempting that. And he's going to have to probably do that <laughs> a few times. Okay. Oh, I keep on doing that. I always think L... Uh, L1 is to bring up the map. It's the zoom. <laughs> okay. That's not going to be too terribly bad. Um, what is that? Is that just a shaft? <laughs> look like a claw. Okay. I don't think we want to... I think we want to follow this. I think we want to head down here. Um, okay, so we're right here, so we want to take go over here. I think we want to go this way. Go up. I'm going to take this right here. Oh, come on now. Okay. All right, let's just double check. I don't want to be... Going totally the other way since we have so far to go anyways. Okay, so we are definitely on the right, right course. Uh-oh, got music going. It's... I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Let's 
So, man, I don't know. So we... There is a trail that goes there. I think we have to go up to the lake trail and then cut down to that medicine wheel and then cut down. Or maybe we just have to go straight back to our our own lookout. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what obstacles are. Okay, so that's our line to get up to go back to... And this is... I already laid this down. Uh, let me just check. No, I think that's going to... Five Mile Creek. That's not where we want to go. I think we want to go. We want to go back up here. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the Forest Service and and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound? You know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Hmm. It's pretty creepy. Okay, 306. We've obviously been here. Before. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, so there's our outhouse. Yay, we are back home. Um, okay, so let's just check the map again. And the music's starting up. Okay, so we need to go up here and take a right. And I think let's go down here. Um, well, that's the general direction I think we need to go, so let's let's continue on. And the 
this should take us back down to the river. And then we have to cross that. Okay, so here's a river. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see if there's anything in the supply cache. Okay. Let's get that info. Nice. And I've got another wonderful note from Ron, so that should be joyful. I uh, really wish the powers that could be uh, that B could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her and mom. I've been sitting at the spot. Uh, for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter away through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Okay, I'll just take that, I guess. Oh man, there's like a bunch of stuff in here. Oh boy, okay, one chance to die. Another Richard Sturgeon book. I'm thinking maybe somebody's like emulating these books and like killing people maybe? I don't know. It's just kind of creepy. else in there that we need, I don't think. Let's just check our map. Okay, so we gotta go straight and then to the left. Okay, so this is the control burn. Oh, okay, so we got right to it. Sweet. snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <coughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of that. to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Hmm, wasn't 
too terribly difficult. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. <laughs> For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Hmm, another book from him. Wait a minute. Do not want to do that. I want to... All sure to be dead in 48 hours. Huh. Hmm, kind of creepy. Who's that missing person? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're going to end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Nice. Hmm. Huh. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Uh, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare, thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Park or Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Uh, ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. Uh, he reached out to the superintendent with wild, uh, wildfire concerns about his research site. Oh, okay. Uh, upon your return... Someone from his office will want to speak with you uh, as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them that uh, they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most uh, potent uh, preventative measure uh, in protecting their site, uh, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think that they've got insurance companies to answer to. Uh, thanks, as always, for your service. Okay, so maybe that was the fence that we... Did say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like 
If you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Nice. All right, we'll be able to clear up some of those uh, pathways that were previously uh, blocked. Very cool, very cool. Is Wapiti Meadow at? All right, so we're way over here. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So I think uh, we're gonna end this uh, this video right now. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit to get over to Wapiti, and I'm not exactly sure what the next uh, phase of this uh, mystery unfolding is gonna be. So, uh, anyways, uh, appreciate everybody who watched. And I hope everybody has a great day. And please come back. Uh, we'd love to have you. So uh, until we meet again, stay safe and let's get there. Hey, thanks for watching. And while you're here, check out some other videos that I've done. I know you've noticed that pulsating subscribe button up in the corner. Go ahead and click it. I know you want to. Listen, you guys are the best and I appreciate everyone that comes and visits the channel. Come back soon and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.